welcome to Filled with His Love. I, I've been thinking about how we are at a midpoint between Thanksgiving and Christmas. We're just kind of finishing Thanksgiving and looking toward Christmas, still in this kind of Thanksgiving feeling and mode. So I thought I'd just give you a few thoughts that I've been conjuring up as we approach Christmas. So we have this hymn in the children's songbook, one of my favorites. It's called He Sent His Son. And it starts out, How could the Father tell the world of love and tenderness? He sent His Son, a newborn babe, with peace and holiness. I've thought it's true. How could the Father express more love to us in any way than giving His only begotten Son to live for us? Now, these are my thoughts. He loved us enough to create this glorious world where we could learn our way back home to Him. He loved us enough to call prophets, seers, and revelators who could help us along the path. He loved us enough to provide a place, the Holy Temple, where we could feel His love, make covenants, and draw ever closer to Him. He loved us enough to give us earthly parents, siblings, and friends. He loved us enough to give us His Word in sacred scripture. He loved us enough to give us the priesthood so we could perform ordinances and bless all of His children. He loved us enough to walk beside us when we stumbled. He loved us enough to permit us to be sealed for time and for all eternity. He loved us enough to wait patiently for us to find Him, even when we lose patience with ourselves. He loved us enough to light the way, no matter how dark the path. He loved us enough to lift, inspire, and help us. He loved us enough to pour down revelation upon our heads. He loved us enough to listen even when we could not find words to express our innermost desires or struggles. His love is without beginning and without end, infinite and eternal. He not only extends His arms to welcome us, but as we come closer and closer, His arms envelop us in the peace, safety, and security that only He can offer. Of all forces in the universe, God's love is the most powerful, the most far-reaching, the most beautiful. God's love is the energy behind every good action, every good thought. It cannot be overcome by any power of evil. Evil may seem triumphant for a moment, but God's love will ultimately prevail. Good will conquer evil because God's love is more powerful than the loveless power of the adversary. Satan's power in the end is nothing because any being without love is nothing. God's love is life-giving. The adversary's actions may lead to spiritual death, but life will be the victor over death. All we need to do is listen, learn, and draw closer to the giver of all good gifts. Then we will feel his love every day. We can eliminate thoughts or actions that distance us from God. We can leave the negative behind and embrace the positive, constructive purposes for which we were placed on earth. Nothing, no person, no outside influence can remove us from His love if we stay close to Him and help His children also stay close. The more we love each other, the more we will love the Lord. And the more we love the Lord, the more we will love each other. As the hymn ends, these are the final words. What does the Father ask of us? What do the scriptures say? Have faith, have hope. Live like his Son. Help others on their way. What does he ask? Live like his Son. 
My thanksgiving and Christmas prayer for us is that we might do all we can to live like his son, to draw close to him, to feel his arms around us, and in the most frustrating, difficult moments of our lives, we will not forget that he is ever, ever close. He is there waiting for us. He will not desert us. As the hymn says, he will never, no, never forsake us. All we have to do is listen and learn and stay close. Then we will feel his love and he will be able to help us out of any difficulty, any problem, any challenge over any challenge that we might have. This is my hope, my prayer, and I hope that it's helpful to you. And I hope you'll think about God's love during this Thanksgiving and Christmas season. We look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks.